Hello, I'm APX Stricker and welcome back to the video. So one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft is to explore the depths of the vanilla game itself. A lot of people love to install mods, they love to install texture packs and dive into those, but the truth about Minecraft is to me at least there is so much to be done in the vanilla game, there's so much still to be seen, to be explored, to be really uncovered that I love to dive into it and I'm still learning new things to this day. And today's video, I'll warn you, is going to be a little bit of a cross between an educational video as well as a fun one because one of my favorite easter eggs does involve the language selection, again you might have seen Pirate English before or Shakespeare English or even one of the best languages I've ever seen in there, uh, but it also will teach you a thing or two about languages so you can justify this video as educational, but in case you don't like that, in case you only like videos where you learn nothing, this might not be the one for you. But if you do like it, then let's get straight into it and let's start by talking about why the language select in Minecraft is so great. Because the language select in most games is probably the most dull part of it, right? Like it's just like, oh, here is a bunch of words I don't understand, a bunch of confusing things next to them, and then somewhere in there you're going to find English. However, in this particular game, first of all, you know, just an example of like, fun thing you didn't know about language. Afrikaans, you might assume is like this crazy African language, because it literally is just like Africans, right, is what it sounds like, but it's actually heavily based off the Dutch language. It's like a bunch of Dutch people went to South Africa and Africa as a whole, and their language kind of like grew into Afrikaans. So yeah, this is very European based. It's one of the easiest languages to learn if you speak English. So fun fact, you might want to go learn some Afrikaans, or, you know, assuming you just speak English and you want to learn about that, there is actually a bunch of English options just for English in the game. As you can see, there's English for Australia, Canada, the UK, New Zealand, and the US. There's five options. You've probably had English US installed by default, but you can switch over to the UK version. And honestly, there are very few minor differences. You actually can spot them if you're really careful about this. So uh, for instance, in the UK version, uh, gray is spelt using an E. So uh, gray, if you don't know, in the UK is spelt G-R-E-Y. There's a bunch of differences like that where it's like, oh, colors spelt with a U over here and armor is spelt with a uh, U as well. But uh, in the if, if you go into the American version, then gray is actually not spelt the same way. It's spelt with the A instead. And it's a small thing like, oh, gray is spelt like this. And uh, if you're looking for armor, you have to search without the U because if you do, it doesn't go right. So that's a fun little thing you might not know by default. Minecraft actually has different uh, languages just for allowing, you know, stuff like search be done better. Because if we go back to the UK version or if you go to the, uh, the New Zealand version or even to the Australia version, the same stuff won't be true. So just show you that there is in fact differences between the exact same language in the UK and the US. Here you can see, do the exact same searching and it's like, oh, gray doesn't show anything and armor doesn't show anything because it's armor and it's it's great. So yeah, you go. Fun fact, there's a few other weird differences like that. But the fun ones I wanted to talk about today are not just like, hey, did you know we spell things different in the UK than in America? It's because of the fact that there's languages like pirate speak. So you've probably seen that uh, the entire time here. It's a pretty ridiculous one, but pirate speak is in fact a language. It's spoken in the seven seas, as you can see right here. <laughs> a little bit silly. And if you turn on pirate at language, it's one of my favorite things because everything's just a little bit silly. So for instance, your field of view is called your spyglass. Uh, the date, you know, the difficulty is your danger level and it's deck swabber or usual ard or wuss <laughs> which is uh you know a little bit crazy tunes and noises the wheel postal scribble there's a bunch of just ridiculous stuff going on here as you can imagine. And basically, I, I really love this. Uh, Ships manifest, scribble, let your mateys on for land. Uh, there's a, it's, it's a lot of fun playing a pirate speak. You can actually really easily understand it. That's the best bit. Like some stuff is like acacia, tiny timber, or like uh, it's the watery sponge, the seeing object. There's a bunch of fun ones like that, but you can totally play Minecraft with pirate speak enabled and it will make the game a lot more fun because everything, uh, there's, you know, there's some weird Easter eggs in there. Like, oh, so for instance, uh, there's tiny pebbles or there's the bottle of mermaid's breath. Everything has like a fun, unique kind of name. And I personally, personally really like that. The fact that it's cutlasses, the fact that all of the magic books, <laughs> as they're called, have just wildly different names. I love all of the different stuff and if you want to, you know, like get a new kind of thing in Minecraft, if you want to have a, a evil witch of Disappearing, if you want to have like a new kind of perspective for Minecraft, you want to kind of like play a texture pack but you don't like new textures, uh, or you want to just have the thing where everything feels a bit magical again, then I feel like Pirate Speak might be the thing for you. Again, it's not necessarily going to be the thing for you. A lot of you are looking at that and saying, wait, that sounds crazy to a cat, like this is just the same Minecraft Craft, but I have to work out what Grogo Moonlight means, but it might be your perfect thing. Actually, just go for all the potions. We got Grogo Healing, Grogo Jumping. For some reason, only the watering potions, uh, Bottle of Mermaid's Breaths, but it's still a pretty weird thing right there, right? So with that said, let's uh, move on to the next weird language. And uh, again, in between, we'll do a little bit of language lesson each time. So Africans, like I said, is actually a Dutch-based language. As a fun fact, if we scroll through the rest of these, we've got Esperanto here, and having Esperanto in Minecraft might seem like, oh, that's the language they speak in, Esperanto duo, but it's actually a language which isn't spoken anywhere. It's a language which is entirely constructed. The idea was gonna be it's an international language, but I mean, I think I'm speaking the international language, 
language based on the fact that you probably haven't even heard of Esperanto. It is a constructed language, but there is a few people in the world that were born speaking Esperanto. There's a few relationships that only exist because of Esperanto, and it's just a cute little weird thing. In fact, there's a tiny country that existed in between Belgium and German Germany that actually only spoke Esperanto, so that's a weird little thing. But with that said, let's uh, move on next to talk about Suomi, which is the name for Finnish. And just one more before we go back to the fun part of the video, because if you look down the whole list right here, again, there's a bunch of weird sound languages. And one of my favorite examples um, is actually all the way down here, because uh, if you look uh, all the way down to the bottom, you can see how the languages get like a little bit harder to read. If you go into these, it's going to be problematic getting back. But uh, you can also see that if we go uh, to uh, Netherlands, as you can see, you got Nederlands for Dutch, basically. But you also have Platdusk, which you might assume is like, oh, Platdusk, that therefore must mean like, oh, you know, a, a type of Dutch, maybe like a thing they speak over there in, uh, you know, the Netherlands, like a vague language. But the truth is, is that's a little bit true. Some Frisians speak it, but it's actually Low German or uh, Niederdeutsch, uh, which means they speak it in the lower parts of Germany, the northern parts of Germany. Uh, they don't speak that anymore. Germany just has one language, uh, but they do speak it in America. If you've ever spoken to a um, an Amish person or a Mennonite, I believe they're called in America, if you've ever spoken to an Amish person, then they will probably speak Low Deutsch, uh, Low German, uh, Niederdeutsch, and therefore, fun fact, you can actually turn your Minecraft to be uh, into Amish. However, a thing you can also do is turn your Minecraft into Shakespearean English. So this is my favorite one, personally. I don't know why I love this one so much. It's from the Kingdom of England because if you're not aware, English has evolved a whole bunch over the past, uh, you know, like 500 to 1,000 years. In fact, about 1,000 years ago, it was or like 1,500 to 2,000 years ago, it was known, uh, th the modern day version is known as Anglish, and it's just a wildly different language. You can barely understand it. It's so Germanic, uh, not Germanic, it's so uh, wildly different, but it's a wild language. But uh, yeah, Shakespearean English was about 500 years ago, and it's the reason why if you ever read Shakespeare's books, everything is just really confusing. And if you look around here, you can see like, ah, oh, everything is the same way here. Like, it's, it's, it's understandable, but everything's written a bit weird, like, publish to thy land, or inscribe thine tale and depart. <laughs> Everything's a little bit rhymey. Um, potion of night beholding. The potion of, uh, oh actually this is pretty normal. Uh, a lot of blocks are like, oh yeah, this is entirely fine. And I like this personally because again, it's 100% it's understandable. Most things you won't even notice, but every now and then there's just a fun little joke flown in there. Like, what, Lincoln stained glass? We used to call green Lincoln? Like, what, what is that all about? Or like, carnation stained glass? Uh, mulberry stained glass? Uh, that's puke stained <laughs> I don't know if that was what they'd call it back then. But there's a lot of just fun little things like that. Uh, mulberry some, uh, cement. And uh, yeah, I, ju I just like that personally. I, I love the, the weird little things like this. The wall block, for instance, instead of Bavaria. A lot of words have, you know, slowly evolved over the last 500 years. And you can kind of see that. So again, it's like you can learn. At, okay, so weather, uh, clear. You can learn at the same time as like having a little bit of fun in Minecraft. And I personally love that. But one of my favorite ones. So again, this is... Uh, this is to do with the fact that when you are stabbed to death by a practice, uh, cactus in Minecraft, it says you were pricked to death. This is a really weird, um, again, it's like, a, I guess because, like, you know, it, it's, it's just a weird thing. Like, it says you're pricked to death. I don't think prick is a swear word in America. But in this particular version, it says, thou hast perished. Toy cat from a thousand pricks hath died. <laughs> and I don't know, that's just my reaction when I read the comment sections, right? But no, for serious, uh, seriously though, uh, resurrect instead of uh, survive. Uh, I really love Shakespeare in English. It's a lot of fun. But there is one language that is even more fun than this. Except again, because we're having fun. Oh look, by the way, uh, written tongue, difficulty, Ordinary, dangerous, harmonious. Um, it's just, it's, it's a little bit fun. Ocular field. <laughs> There's a lot of just uh, kind of wacky things like this. I could dive even more into it to kind of prove my point. Like, uh, uh, music, uh, basically wicked creatures. You can see a bunch of examples, but let's go back into the languages. Let's give you just a couple more lessons here. And then let's talk about the most fun language of all. So first of all, we've got the fact that, did you know French, even though it's one of the world's major five languages now, arguably the world's second or third most important language, uh, depending on how you want to rank them. Uh, but French wasn't actually widely spoken, even in France, until about a hundred years ago. And even uh, like, you know, as, as recently as like 70 years ago, Occitan was still a wildly, uh, wi wait, a wildly widely spread language. So Occitan was spoken in the southern regions of France. And fun fact, it's just, not too spoken anymore. They slowly made, you know, French the standard language, but, you know, Occitan is still spoken by some people. They will just never speak it to foreigners. Fun little fact. Uh, similar thing with Tim Maori. It's the native language of New Zealand, but today we're not here to talk about New Zealand, although that is kind of fun, and Limburg's fun, and a lot of these languages, they have fun things behind them, like, oh, that's the Latin language, which came from a place of, uh, in Italy called Latium. But Lolcat is the one I wanted to talk about today, because Lolcat comes from the Kingdom of Cats, and you know what my favorite place in the world is? It's the Kingdom of Cats. So, let's dive into it.
slowly, I guess. Let's dive into Lowcats, because here you can see this is the best language Minecraft has available. Everything about this is just my favorite. How your skin look like, graphics settings, what are, what you re-speak, resource packs, snooper settings, chats options, hardness, meh, regular, ch double cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as you can see, it's beautiful. KK, I'm back. Uh, open to networks. Catistics. Oh my god, this is so perfect. Uh, so yeah, it's spoken like lolcats. Lolcats is a really old internet meme, but they put it into the game regardless. Potion of cat vision. Oh, cat vision, because they can see in the dark. See, it's beautiful. Um, potion of water breathing. Uh, spiky green plant uh, litter box stuff. Oh, <laughs> of course, it's cats. Uh, you shall not pass as the barrier block. We've got skizzers. We've got diamond axe. Basically, my point is, is that everything is beautiful. I, I can't get over potion of cat vision. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, this is the lolcat language. It's pretty fun. It's pretty ridiculous. If we dive into the make things, by the way, if we dive into the creative menu, actually, you know, what? just for fun, let's see what happens if we're killed by a cactus in this. Because again, in the Shakespearean English, it's like they turn it fancy. What will what will a uh, you know prick to death mean in cat language? That's something I guess we're gonna have to find out. Also, let's throw the stuff at that. So, uh, toy cat was pricked to death. You die, sad kitty. Uh, your points won. Re meow. <laughs> Re meow. <laughs> <laughs> Tepic menu. <laughs> you know what? This is this is that is beautiful. So we're gonna quickly go into creative. I'll show you around the rest of it very briefly right here. And uh, decoration, redstone, transportation, tools, cheeseburgers. I guess that that I I should have seen that one coming based on the earlier one. Warm jumping foods in bull. Oh, cause it's rabbits. They're, they're jumping foods. See, there's there's like loads of tiny things. Where it's like it's not only just low cats. It's like regular cats as a whole. And translating Minecraft into a different language takes a lot of effort. In fact, it takes so much effort that they actually give out capes for people who do it well enough. Uh, and there's actually one of my subscribers has got one of the Mojira capes because he was uh, again he helps out on the conversion process. But one of the cool things uh, about the different languages is how much different uh, effort they put in for all the real ones but then even for stuff like lolcats someone sat down and was like every single word needs a lolcat version every single word should make you laugh and the fact that the you know the language menu in most games it's so boring but in this game it is one that is worth looking at even though there's languages in here like you know this is hungarian they call that they call them their own country magyarorosks but i can't say that correctly but that's hungarian for instance croatian is called this there's a lot of fun things where like oh yeah you can learn about languages because seeing them on a language list is fun but that's just regular game stuff but in this particular game you can see they have so many different languages so there's more to learn there and in there there's some fun ones and personally i would recommend if you want to just have a little bit of fun when you're doing your next survival thing uh that in the updated quadsec then maybe uh try out shakespeare in english or pirate speak or upside down text i think that is yeah ups wait i i don't oh wait unsid i i don't even know what this is i honestly I, I, I saw it there and I knew it was English of some form, but I think it's just upside down English, right? If you want to do that, then... <laughs> by the way, the, uh, the fact that it takes so long to switch is just a weird thing. Then it's something I would entirely recommend. Uh, pro tip, by the way, in case you do play Minecraft and it seems like the... Oh, it is an upside down. Uh, everything's just upside down text. So, um, yeah, uh, one, one of the weird things is that uh, the Minecraft language menu, it seems like it's crashing the game every time, but it's just that it takes 10 seconds. That's why this whole video was a bit weird. But still, with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something thing about a language or two or maybe you just enjoyed seeing lolcat speak i don't know that's that's your own thing i hope you all enjoyed the video regardless like if you liked it share if you really liked it subscribe new around here with notifications turned on hit that bell um so you can see videos like this every single day on your channel and i guess thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye